Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today for spooky season this is going to be my last glam Halloween look of this year. Um, but I actually did more glam looks than, I, well what I consider glam, I did more of them than I initially thought I would so two thumbs up for sky pie. <laughs> so today I am going to be doing a look inspired by Queen Bee. Now not Beyonce, although she is Queen Bee, but an actual like bee with wings that you know, makes honey. One of them. Um, so yeah, I just thought this would be a fun makeup look and it's fun and it's glam and yeah, and then I get to stick wee bees to my face as well because who doesn't want to do that? <laughs> so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, so to start this makeup look, the first thing that I'm doing is priming my skin as always and then I am setting my brows in place using soap. This is just kind of the norm for me starting a makeup look, um, yeah. And then I carve out underneath my eyebrows just to make sure that there's a nice precise shape to them. If you want to see how I do my eyebrows then you can check out my everyday makeup tutorial which I'll link in the eye above kind of go into a wee bit more detail there and then I'm just blending that concealer out all across my eyelid and then I am priming my eyes to make sure we've got a nice even base ready for eyeshadow application so the first thing that I'm doing is going in with a light kind of orangey brown a transition shade and I'm just applying this into and above the crease and then I'm going in with a dark um, warm brown shade and packing this into the crease in a kind of semicircle shape and then blending it out. I wanted to keep this eye look quite rounded um, so I'm not winging it out today. And then I'm going in with a black base and I'm applying this all over the lid and blending it slightly into that brown eyeshadow. This is my favourite way to do like smoky eyes. Um, it's just kind of foolproof to me to be honest. And then once that black base is in place, I am going in with a matte black eyeshadow, packing this all over the lid and then blending it into that brown that we applied in the crease beforehand. And again, you want to make sure that you're keeping this really nice and rounded. And the key with black eyeshadow is just take your time, add it little by little. You can always add more, but you can never take it away. So just take your time. So then I'm going in with a sparkly black like gunmetal kind of shade. And I'm just applying this all over the lid on my finger just to make sure that I really get a good pigment over my lid. And then I'm just cleaning up any fallout so that it doesn't mix my foundation. So now I am going to go ahead and create some honeycombs on the side of my face. So I'm first using Sculpt Gel and I mixed equal parts A and B together and I've just kind of concentrated it on one area of my cheek. And then I'm blending the edges out but still keeping some height in the centre of it. Um, but yeah, just blending the edges out making sure it is nice and smooth. And then I'm taking the end of a blunt pencil, so the end of the pencil is a hexagon, so it's perfect for making these wee shapes. And I'm just pressing that into the sculpt gel when the sculpt gel is almost set, um, just so that it doesn't stick to it. So then for the forehead, I wanted to create some like deeper uh, honeycombs, uh, so I thought it would be better to use wax. Now wax is my nemesis. Um, but it worked for this, so I think I might be in, on good terms with it. The key to this is warm up the, I'm using Cine Wax, you could use Scar Wax as well, but warm it up in your hands first and use loads and loads of Vaseline just to make sure that it doesn't stick to your hands. The warmth of your fingers will naturally melt the wax um, and blend it into your skin, but the wax is sticky, so make sure you've got loads of Vaseline on your fingers and on your toes. And then just to secure the edges of the wax, I went in with some Sculpt Gel just to try and prevent it from lifting. I just did a thin layer and smoothed it out flat to the skin so that you couldn't see it.
And then again, I'm going in with my pencil and creating some wee hexagons. You can see there the effect that it has. This one was um, quite risky to do on the wax because it did kind of feel it lifting a wee bit. Um, but just be careful. It's the best advice I could give. Just be careful. So then uh, I waited for the Sculpt Gel to set, so I went ahead and applied some foundation to the areas of my face that didn't have any kind of prosthetics on it and blended it out. I used a really full coverage foundation because my skin looked atrocious and I just didn't think that a queen bee would have atrocious skin so I wanted to make myself look flawless. So I went in with a full coverage foundation today and just blended it all over my skin making sure that it matched my neck as well. And then I'm going in with some concealer underneath my eyes and on the highest points of my face and blending that out to make it nice and highlighted. So then I just went ahead and set the areas of my face that I had already put foundation on, just using a translucent powder. This is just the way that I always do my base makeup really. <laughs> Nothing new here. And then I went ahead and filled in my brows using some brow pomade. Again, nothing fancy, just fill in your brows the way you like to fill in your brows. <laughs> then I just smoked out my lower lash line again, making sure to keep it really rounded. So I first went in with that um, dark, kind of warm brown and blended that out on my lower lashes and then smudged the black closest to the lashes making sure it was really nice and pigmented and then I went back in and blended it out into the brown. So then I put a metallic a gold pigment in my inner corner which just was stunning. It was my favourite part of the entire makeup. Um, and then I tight lined my waterline um, using just a black coal eyeliner just to make sure it was really nice and smoky. Then I went ahead and just applied some mascara to my top and bottom lashes and that's pretty much the eyes done. Super easy. So then I went ahead and covered the Sculpt Gel and the Honeycombs in some foundation now that it had set and set it in place using plenty of powder just to make sure that it didn't move anywhere and to take away any of the tackiness from the Sculpt Gel. So then I went on and created some drips. So the first thing that I'm doing is using a white base just to mark out the shape of the honey drip. So I'm using this on a flat rounded brush and I'm actually using the shape of the brush to kind of determine what the bottom of the drip looks like. Just makes you have less work really. And I'm just drawing a vertical line down into the centre of that shape and joining each edge up kind of as at a diagonal line. So I did some under each of my eyes and then I did some on the corner of my lips as well but just vary the size and the length of them just to make it look a bit more organic. So then I wanted to try and make these look realistic and they actually turned out quite good so I was chuffed to bits with them. Um, so I just looked at a reference photo of like dripping honey and the first thing that I did once I put that white in place was went in with my base colour which in this case was yellow and then I used a kind of mid-toned orange and applied this just where the shadows would be. Again, I looked at a reference photo because there was no way that I could do this from memory. Um, so yeah, just look at different reference photos and try and vary what each drip looks like. And then once I'd gone in with that orange, I went in with a kind of dark warm brown and just applied this in like the tiniest wee areas just to give some more depth and definition. And then I took that same brown um, around one edge of the drip and kind of on the underside just to create a shadow and make it look like the drips were actually like sitting on the skin and to make them more 3D.
and then finally I just took a white eyeliner and applied this to the highlighted points um, so I kind of applied it and then tapped it out just to get rid of some of the pigment and then just layered it up uh, so that it wasn't too stark um, like between the white and the yellow but I think they turned out really cool, I was dead chuffed gold star to sky pie so then I just went ahead and bronzed my face because I was looking a bit ghostly um, so just bronzed my face where I could um, you can apply like powder products over like the sculpt gel but I was just scared to do it over the scar wax so I kind of avoid that, avoided that area like the plague and then I just went in with a pale pink blush and applied that to the tops of my cheekbones just to give me a wee bit of colour and some lift to my face and then I went ahead and took that same dark brown that I used on the eyes and applied this into the centre of the honeycombs and I just used the same exact blending brush you don't have to be too precise with this which is really really good um, and literally just plonked it in the middle and then I just went in on a wee detail brush and used that black shadow from before and applied this along the kind of top edge of the honeycombs just to make them look a bit more 3D So then I just went ahead and added some contour just to try and give my face a wee bit more shape just along my cheekbones and underneath my jawline and down the sides of my nose just in the usual spots. And then I went ahead and applied a really nice golden highlighter to my face just in the usual areas and then I applied some extra over the honeycombs just to kind of give them a wee bit of sparkle. Now obviously I did the honeycombs with like a special effects product but you could absolutely just paint them on um, and it'd be super easy to paint on. So now I'm just going in with that same gold pigment I used on my eyes and mixed it with a, a setting spray and I'm just kind of adding some wee highlighty points to the honeycombs just using that. And then I went ahead and did my lips so I wanted to kind of do like a brats kind of lip almost um, so I first outlined them I'm using all liquid lipsticks I first outlined them overdrawn them of course um, I always find it easier to use a lip brush so I just get more precise line with it that way um, and then I went in with a very light peach color and a very light pink color which looks atrocious right now but it works trust me because um, I just didn't have the right shade and then I just blended the edges of my lips together with the centre colour just to get that really nice kind of ombre pouty effect. We went super glam because why not? So then I just went ahead and applied some bees to the honeycombs. I just got these off Amazon. They're just wee wooden bees. They were, they were so cute I couldn't pass them up. So yeah, I just stuck them on using some lash glue, super easy, and I also applied a nice big pair of falsies too. Super dramatic. And then I went ahead and applied not just one, but two glosses to my lips because I was feeling indecisive today. So yeah, I applied kind of a shimmery gold one and then a kind of cream peachy gloss over the top was nice it's my new favorite lip combo and then for a finishing touch I just went in with that same gold pigment and added some wee dots kind of for flight paths for the bees and there you have it guys that is the finished look as always all of the products that I've used will be listed down below as well as all of my social media links make sure you give me a like and a follow on them and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads I hope you have all enjoyed this final glam Halloween look I've only got one more to upload and then that will be spooky season over for another year. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next video for another spooky season makeup. Bye! <laughs> Why am I like this? You know what I kind of feel like right now? <laughs> I've just realised that I look like the rock in that photo when he's wearing that black turtleneck <laughs> with the chains. Oh no! <laughs> oh.
why it's just written this way. God damn. <laughs> the one tutorial that I don't need, or I don't cover my brow. I probably should have. Oh my god. It's just, oh. Yum. Look at that handsome boy. Hello, I know I see your ears. Look how cute they are. Yes. <laughs> so cute. Just be us. Put the lid on that for a spell, shall we? I'm so tired.